Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi. Um, this is a, another quick demo of the iPhone 10 connected to Blender. And currently here I have the famous Vincent rig. Um, in, a, in the past I've been using um, webcam and open source, open CV facial tracking to do this, but uh, now I'm using the iPhone 10. And it seems like it's a lot, um, a lot faster and there's a lot of small things that can make um, the whole uh, face inter interfacing your facial animations into CG character a lot faster. Uh, of course, there's because I'm recording. There's a bit of lag there. I think it's uh, it's okay. It's good to run at 24 frames per second. If it's running as an app, then it's gonna be a lot faster. But yeah, I I could actually. If you're interested, I could talk um, the whole process and then um, especially what I found interesting after doing this a couple of times is that I understand um, the iPhone 10 blend shapes coefficients better. So there are 51 coefficients that, that I basically transfer and connect it to Vincent right here. Um, so if I can talk quickly, basically the eyebrow have around six blend shape coefficients so I can control actually the ups and down uh, there there I can kind of make it goes one eyes one eyebrow up and then there's uh, the eye tracking the eye tracking is the tricky one but then um, after I set it up a couple of times the eye is actually pretty easy and you can make it squint also so one eye seems to be squinting correctly, the other one doesn't. Maybe I, I think I did something wrong there. I can see it, it doesn't, one is squinting properly. But the eye tracking, the, the pupil tracking seems to be working quite well. The cheek um, is also, this, the nose and things like that, kind of rather easy. But then you come to the jaw and then the mouth, Vincent actually have a lot of interesting um, rig happening and um, I'm connecting the blend shapes into all the Fins Vincent's controller. The mouse can move left and right and then it, there's also a nice controller like with the mouse itself. Uh, okay, that's the jaw doesn't actually, maybe I need to tweak the jaw a little bit more. But with Vincent, there is one controller for the mouse that control like the the wide and narrow and also the like open mouth and it makes kind of like a it's really good actually and just one control that controls most of the the mouth but then there is extra thing like uh, the lips uh, the lips roll and things that all these little nuance that um I found it slightly tricky to set up before, but then this seems to be working fine now. And there's still some tweak that if I open my mouse too much, I, I need to tweak that. So I actually tweak and adjust the blend shape from the iPhone 10. Uh, so it's kind of working perfectly with my face and Vincent. So uh, let me try to do um, the safe and basic emotions. The default. And then angry. And then sad. That's more like angry, but sad is. You said it's apparently a little bit hard to make there. Scared. And then shock. You can see. Oh uh, yeah, definitely need to tweak that. And it's the, the tongue, the tongue control is the hard one. I need to make the tongue somewhat being controlled using my face. But there is no way to track the tongue at the moment. Um, so I think that's all the basic seven emotions. Angry, sad, happy, happy. 
happy. Currently, Vincent looks really evil somehow. Uh, the eyes, because the eyes, I think, is always one squinting. Happy, like normal happy. Yeah, happy is a bit weird. Doesn't work properly. I think the way I set it up, Vince looks kind of evil at the moment, like a geek, geeky evil. But I'm pretty happy with this so far. I, you might notice that uh, when I'm recording, I smile a lot, and I'm because I'm, yeah, maybe I don't know. It's my facial expression is a bit, maybe, when I'm nervous, I tend to smile a lot, but then. If I talk normally, I try. Let me try. So this is me when I'm talking normally without having a smile in my face. But yeah, I tend to smile a lot. That's why this guy is always smiling and all my CG character always has been smiling so far. So yeah, hopefully you found this quite interesting. I might try to use Vincent in the future to talk about blender yeah i think that's gonna be fun um thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time bye